it's time. From the Personal Liberty Digest Studios, 2015, the year no one saw coming, it's time for this week's Great Eight. And now, no one was even looking for Ben Crystal. Donald Trump, 2016. If you say you saw it coming, you lying. <laughs> well, we put 2015 in the rearview mirror. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hard to know how 2016 will turn out, but I'm sure it'll be exciting. Whether that's happy exciting or high-speed traffic accident with fatalities exciting. <laughs> well, let's peer into the crystal ball, see what I did there, <laughs> and see where some of our favorite subjects of 2015 will be a year from now. The Obamas will still have yet to work an honest day in their lives. <laughs> Keeping the streak alive, baby. <laughs> Harry Reid won't be in the Senate anymore, but I'm sure he'll be keeping busy. <laughs> Bernie Sanders will be chairman of the Politburo at Shady Acres, a safe place for senior socialists. <laughs> the man number one, more free pudding on Fridays. <laughs> Hillary, well, she'll be kicking off five to ten at Club Fed. <laughs> I do hear they have a great computer training program. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bill will have finally snagged his dream gig, greeter at the Bunny Ranch. I'm not just a president, I'm also a client. <laughs> MSNBC will have dumped the failed Democrat channel motif for all to catch a predator all the time. <laughs> MSNBC, why don't you take a seat right there? So-called global warming? Still not a real thing. And Caitlyn Jenner, still a dude. <laughs> That's your grade eight for the year, kiddies. For the Personal Liberty Digest, I'm Ben Crystal saying, all right, 2016, let's see what you got.